Hello, I am Becca Roo. Thanks for watching Roo's Musings. So yoga tells us that the wisdom of the universe lives inside of us. That all the knowledge that's out there in the universe is also inside of you and me. And there's an also another idea inside of yoga that why we're here, I love this, this is Sankhya yoga philosophy, that why we're here is to know ourselves fully. So it's not that we're here to get it perfectly. It's not that we're here to make all the right decisions. It's we're here so that we can play with our senses and, and learn ourselves in and out and on all of our different layers. And I wanted to talk today about body wisdom. This is an idea that my friend Carly, who you all have met in the Ayurveda videos, uh, teaches about a lot. And inside of body wisdom, she talks about how our body really does pretty clearly communicate with us. And she uses the example of when um, people start smoking cigarettes, that when you first take a drag of a cigarette, you start coughing. That's body wisdom being like, not a good call, right? This is not what we're supposed to be doing. And many times, and this is really what I want to focus on today, many times in our lives, you and I are not listening to our body wisdom. We're just covering it up. So, right, you take a second drag of the cigarette, you cough again. You take a third drag, you cough again. You know, five packs later, ten years later, you're not coughing anymore because your body wisdom gives up. And Carly calls this, and this is what I want to introduce today, crimes against wisdom, which I love. So I love the idea that we keep the wisdom of the universe inside of us. I love the idea that we can listen to that wisdom, that our body like straight up communicates it to us, that wisdom to us kind of regularly. Um, and that we perpetrate crimes against wisdom when we choose, actively choose not to listen to that. So this happens I think all the time with rest, right? With rest in our society that we know that we're tired and we're not gonna do anything about it. Your body's telling you, right? Your shoulders are tight, you have a headache, your eyes are sleepy, you need four cups of coffee every day. That each of those is its own crimes against wisdom, where you're like, I know that I'm tired, I know that I need rest, but I'm gonna push through. We do this with stress as well, sort of the same thing, where we know we're overwhelmed, we have too much on our plates, wink, wink, camera woman, and we keep going anyway, right? We know that we need to do yoga, we know that we need to exercise, but there's not time. I talked to a client, and she said, you know, she leaves for work at 7.30 in the morning. She gets home at 9 at night, so she can't exercise. And I think that this is true for so many people. Our bodies are designed to move, right? We're designed to move. If we're not, this is just my opinion, if we're not moving our bodies, we're not listening to our body wisdom. We're perpetrating a crime against wisdom. And then our body just stops communicating until it turns into dis-ease or disease, right? So my suggestion to us and to myself is to cultivate a space in our lives this is like a necessity in my opinion where we can listen to our body wisdom and this is basically what every single musing i'm shooting is talking about truly where you take a bath every night or you perform abhyanga which is when you rub oil on your body you go for a walk right you have an exercise routine you have a place where you check in with yourself you have a journal you journal every morning that there's some way in your life that you can say, all right, body wisdom, what's going on? And you listen, right? You pause. The pause is crucial. Right before you eat a meal, take three big breaths, smell your food. This is body wisdom. This is I'm about to take in nutrients. I'm going to pause to experience this, to, to listen, right? And then how does the meal make you feel? And this one, I know all of you, if, if you're watching this video, I could say you know certain foods that you eat regularly do not feel good in your body. You just do it anyway. That's a crime against wisdom. It's a crime against your body's wisdom. So your body's going to stop eventually talking to you until, until you know, tragedy occurs, right? Until you something really bad happens. You throw out your back or you get, you know, a serious disease where you have to slow down, listen to your stress response, rest make different choices with food. So I'm begging us, and I'm begging myself, I'm begging all of us to make those choices before our bodies like pounding, red lights flashing, like you're not listening to the wisdom of your body. So my question to you is how do you listen? How do you listen to the wisdom of your body? How do you um, not perpetrate, I like that word, perpetrate crimes against wisdom? 
Um, send this video to your friends who you feel like maybe need to hear it and you can just share and like, share, like, share, like, share, like, and I'll see you next week. Watch, so check out some other musics as well. Bye-bye.